Hey everyone, this is Eric with Fresh Ground Roasting. This is The Mug Life. I didn't choose The Mug Life, The Mug Life chose me. Uh, we are gonna get deep in the nerd weeds today. So uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I wanna introduce you to an app called the Grind Size app. There's a link to download it uh, down below in the comments. But what this is, is an application that will measure the size of the grinds and how different they are. Why is this important? Well, if you're any kind of coffee nerd, uh, a lot of our discussion about pour overs, about other stuff, is about what we call fines and boulders. Anytime you grind coffee, no matter how good your grinder is, when the coffee goes through the burrs or goes around in the blade or whatever, there's gonna be big chunks called boulders and there's gonna be really, really fine pieces called fines. As the water passes through the fines, they tend to extract more. As the water passes around or through the boulders, it tends to extract a little bit less. And what we end up with is uneven extraction. Depending on how many fines and how many boulders you have in your grind size, you can get a very different flavor of coffee. This is why so many coffee people obsess about the type of grinder that they're using and how many fines there are and so on. There's a cool little app, it's free. Uh, like I said, you can download it. Uh, I'm gonna give you a little demo of how to use it. Um, takes a little bit of setup to do it, but it's a great tool to compare how many fines you're getting on one grinder versus another grinder, or even log data for your brewing and see what that's like. So I'm gonna show you how to set it up and how to use it. We're gonna jump from uh, taking a picture of our grind to actually uh, doing a little screen capture of the uh, a, a demo of using uh, the, the Coffee Grind Size app. So uh, to get it set up, what you're gonna need is a, uh, light colored something background that we can take the picture on and a reference object, uh, a US penny in my case. You can also use a nickel or a quarter, depending on how wealthy you are. Uh, we are going to need a very even lighting system here. So we've taken our uh, light that we normally use for shooting the video here and have that. Basically, we don't want any big glares or big shadows when we take a picture of the coffee grinds. Uh, and then you need a coffee grinder and some coffee. Now I thought it was interesting this time, I am going to use a little blade grinder. I already have some data that I used from uh, our Barazza Vario grinder here, as well as our Bun G3 grinder. Uh, so we can compare that data when we're in the tool, but I did want to take and uh, use just a blade grinder for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind some coffee I've already got in here. One part with blade grinders is you never know quite how fine or coarse you're going to get it. But we'll take a quick look here. It's kind of coarse still. That might be something I use for Chemex. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a pinch of the coffee grounds, and the best way to do it is just kind of spread them. Uh, on the white surface as evenly as you possibly can. When you do that, you also might have a couple of chunks uh, or globs of coffee that kind of all go together here. Uh, this one's not too bad. We don't want a really massive amount of grinds in there, okay? Uh, we just want a little bit, uh, enough to get a decent picture where they're all spread out. At that point, take your camera or whatever you might need uh, to do it. I'm gonna put it up above and make sure that when you take the picture, you also have your reference object in the picture as well. So I've got my picture with my penny in the corner of it. You can kind of take a look at what that looks like there. And once you have that, you can copy it over to your computer and we can load it into the grind size app, which we will do next. And you can see I have opened an image already. And the first thing I need to do is select a reference object. So if I click that button, and then if I click on the picture a couple of places, it'll show the diameter of that object. And I can tell it in here that this is a US penny. Uh, the next step I need to do is select the analysis region. And once I click that button, 
um, I can go in here and kind of draw an area that I want it to analyze. It's important to make sure that that area doesn't have any shadows or glares or large clumps of coffee or anything else like that in it. Uh, and then you can go through and hit the threshold image and what it's going to do is go through and make sure that uh, the brown dots or the red dots here are the coffee and the white is the paper and you're not seeing any of the background in there. Uh, and then you can launch particle detection. So it's going to go through, you might not see that anything's happening, but if you look down here at the bottom, you can see the percentage going up. It's going through and analyzing all of the particles. Uh, and in just a minute, we should have that done. Depending on how fast your computer is and how many particles there are, it will take a long time or a short period of time. Once it's done with that, it'll kind of change on the image and then I can go through and click the button that says create histogram and it's going to give me a little graph that shows me how my image uh, or how my particles were distributed. In a perfect world what we would like to see is almost down at zero for a long period of time and then straight up would mean that all of the particles were this one size. That's never going to happen, uh, but what we see is with different grinders is this curve will go up at different rates, which means that there's more fines down here on this kind of gentle slope than one that have, might have a steeper slope to it. Remember, this is a blade grinder, so what I would expect to see uh, a bunch of fines down here and some more coarse stuff. If I want to compare it to something else, I can load comparison data and I am going to go in here to some settings that I've saved before. So I did a Baratza Vario uh, on a relatively coarse setting, but you can see if I look at this, I'm going to move my uh, graph or my labels there, uh, you can see this has a much sharper increase here and then all of a sudden it jumps way up here and drops down pretty suddenly on this side. So that is going to have better particle distribution than the blade grinder which would be expected. So this is a fun tool. It's fun to compare different grinders. If you're in a shop and maybe you have three or four different grinders it's kind of cool to check it out. Also fun to check out maybe with a bunch of espresso grinders. If you've got two or three grinders for espresso see what the comparison data is and and uh, dial them all in, brew some espressos with it, and see if there's a difference in taste between the different grinders and see if that compares to the number of fines that are in the data as well. A whole bunch of stuff that we can do with this particular tool. So let's have fun with it. So that's how we use the Grind Size app. I'm curious, if you use this, uh, what's the comparison between the different grinders? Did you get a surprising result? Was one a lot different? And more importantly, is there a big difference in flavor between the grinder that maybe had a larger dispersion of grind sizes or one that is more consistent? So uh, I'd love to check it out. I'd love to hear your comments below. We can have a discussion about the Grind Size app. I'm Eric. Keep serving coffee people love.